Okay, tubers, after that last sack of shit of a video, I do apologise. I wasn't even going to upload it. And I thought, well, may as well throw it out, put it out there. Now, I am going to do a test because I'm not going to sleep unless I test this. So what I want to test now is whether my fuses still work and whether my fuses are still a valid idea. So, broken pack. Got to take it out. So I'll desolder this. Being careful not to burn myself for the 12th time today. And soldering iron's not hot enough yet. There's a the 12th time. I feel I should apologise for the for the last video, I do I do feel I should apologise, but you know it's it's one of those things. Could I I could have hidden the fact and not shared it and um, lied about it all, or I could try and make it better. And well, I genuinely wish to make this entire project relentlessly better. Doesn't matter what I have to do to make it better, I want to make it better all the time. So improving it. Um, sharing the knowledge so hopefully somebody doesn't do what i've done i mean you know i've made lots of mistakes but i reckon i've made some progress too so i am happy with that so even i don't know how i come across in the last video but ah shit happens what do you do move on that's what you do and i really should have let this soldering iron actually get up to you know anything more than 40 degrees because it's taken ages to melt the solder there we go got it all off what do you know this shouldn't be too hard to get out. There we go. And that's probably never going to be seen again. There we go. Right here. One bad cell. Can you see how pitted and damaged that is? So. I might, I might cut that casing off a little when I finish the video and, and, um, and have it what it looks like. Okay, get that one out of the way. Right here. Yeah, it's beeping at me. Plug that in. Of course, the light really doesn't... The light doesn't stay on for very long. Do a voltage check on this one. So what's that coming in at? 3.82? 3.82 volts. Right. Now the plan is, I'm going to get this bit of these alligator clippy things with a decent heavy wire on it. Um, yeah, I think that'll work. Okay. I cut that. Stripped that off of there. There we go. So, negative might just solder that directly to the negative that might be the easiest way of attaching it and just for fun I'll turn me a little exhaust vent on So I really don't like sucking these fumes in. Right, let's tin that up a bit. There's not much to this videoing, but I just want to want to document the process for my own for my own sake, I guess. I might heat that up a bit and flatten that side down so it actually stands up. Oh yeah. Add a huge heat sink. Oh, that's soldering. Okay. And just for anybody, this cell's already dead, so heating it up that much ain't gonna hurt. Rightio, so what do you reckon? 
go like that onto the negative. This is another pack that needs to be rebuilt. Positive, I don't necessarily want to do like that. Um, I need to make it reproducible. Where's the other one? Oh, another one here. So if I put that in there, and then I get some... Have to burn, burn some of this off. So I might solder this into place on this pack. Just got so I've got a way of holding it. And my vent's nowhere near close enough. And I didn't put enough solder on it. make for a riveting video. I seem to do that a lot lately. I'm going to try this in one or two cuts so I don't have to... Oh, Jesus Christ! Solder in, will you? I'm just blowing on it to cool it down faster because it's not embedding in the... It's still got... Still got um, plastic coating on it, so it's not embedding. There we go. Now it's burnt off. This is just burning off the some of the plastic coating. Although the good good thing about the plastic coating will be is you'll be able to see it smoking. If I solder that to the cell, it's probably going to be too permanent. Okay. I'll leave a nice long bit of, um, you can see that well actually on my black shirt. Leave a nice long bit of cop, um, copper on it. Alright, I'm not going to do this in the shed, I'm going to go outside and um, try and do it somewhere else on concrete or something. So I'll see if I can pack it up and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I didn't have enough control of the light outside. So what I've done is, uh, on the cement, on the floor, I've just taken up a couple of carpet tiles. So I'm on bare concrete. And um, I'll change this over and put it in slow motion at 60 frames per second. Now the plan is here, I'm just gonna connect it and then see what it does. So let's turn this off and see what they do. So, as it turns out, a five minute test really was all I needed to put my mind at ease. I didn't think it was going to be that easy, but as it turns out, basically, when it's in its, in its environment, where the cell is with 80 other cells, and if that one cell goes bad, it's going to blow. There's no, uh, no doubt in my mind now, it is safe and it does what it needs to do. Had a look in those little clips there. It was in slow motion too, so it was fairly quick. I didn't actually get any in normal speed, but it was fairly quick. As soon as I touched it, it blew. It went. It, it, it blew and blew within half a second or so, something like that. Anyway, um, so really, really, really happy with that test. I I don't know what went wrong in that last video. I was upset and pissed off and annoyed and whatever else. But I guess you get that, especially after time and effort involved in doing it. I thought I was going to have to rip all the packs apart and whatever else. So. Valid test. Now, 
I look back through all the videos. I look back through all the old comments, and there were commenters that say, well, and I think I even said it at one stage, I'm going to try doing one cell hooking up to an entire pack. I didn't end up doing that test. Maybe I should have, you know, but hindsight's a bitch. We're all good. I don't have to pull all the packs apart. And if we have a problem in future with cells like that, well, I know I'm, I'm, I'm safer than I would have been. So thanks for putting up with my crap, YouTube. <laughs> I'll see if the next one's on a. I'll see if the next video is going to be a little bit happier. But this is the real world. This isn't Pete's bullshit land. This is what happens, and I try and document it as honestly as possible. So, catch you on the next one.